And believe it or not, I've actually got a coral snake inside of here, or at least I think he's still inside of here. Uh, he ran into this tree. I pulled the tree out of the ground, and now I'm going to attempt to, to pull the tree apart and pull him out. Uh, now, usually coral snakes are pretty agreeable, but I imagine me pushing over a tree and busting it apart probably will not have him uh, in the best of moods. So, we shall see as I mess with the most venomous snake in North America. Assuming I can get this thing apart. Yep, there he is. There he is. See so hang right there? All right, so he's got a pretty good little hidey hole for sure. Let's see how agreeable he is. All right, so we've managed to find our coral snake and he looks like he's uh, pretty okay with me talking right now. He's kind of squeezed through some of these bore holes and he might be a little stuck. We'll pull him out in just a moment. But as long as he's staying still, see if we can't get some good camera angles. Now you can see that characteristic yellow and red banding and that marks him as the real deal. That is a coral snake, a Texas coral snake. Uh, remember this by uh, Red and Yellow Kill Fellow? If the uh, bands are red and black, usually that means uh, Venom Lack or Step Back Jack. It means that it's probably one of the uh, mimicking snakes. Your Scarlet Snake, a Milk Snake, some of the King Snakes look similar to this. Uh, you can also remember it by thinking uh, yellow red stop, kind of uh, talking about the way the traffic lights go. So if the uh, yellow and red are together, you're looking at something that's potentially going to hurt you. Now this guy is able to secrete a neurotoxin. He's going to back out on me right now. And uh, this is very different from your rattlesnakes and some of your other uh, venomous creatures that we have here in North America. This will not go necrotic. It's not going to start rotting you. Uh, what it'll do is actually start shutting down your nervous system. And what that means is that uh, your body's going to stop reacting after a while. Uh, your muscles, you're going to exhibit some of, the, some of the same symptoms as a stroke patient. And eventually within hours, uh, you might be at the point where uh, you stop breathing. So the idea is that you need to be able to get to a hospital very quickly have massive amounts of anti-venom pumped into you and you might just have to go on to a respirator. So this is not really something you want to mess with. Uh, they're pretty nice, they're pretty agreeable. I just pulled him out of the stump so I'm not really messing with him too much. I don't want to be on his bad side. Uh, but for the most part they kind of leave you alone. They want to eat small reptiles, little frogs, small mice, uh, other small snakes. Uh, but we really don't have an issue. Uh, 15 to 20 bites in North America per year. No recorded fatalities here in North America in quite a while. Uh, but the issue that a lot of people get into is that they start to mess with them too much and they get agitated. And the other thing is that most people that mess with snakes think that they need to coil up. And when you see the rattlesnakes and your copperheads, that's uh, pretty normal, natural for them to do. With your coral snake, he's a different he's a different beast. He'll actually strike sideways and get you. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is your coral snake. North America's most venomous snake. And a friend of our forests. So enjoy him out here. And go ahead and let him go. Be on his way. He's had enough of me. But like and subscribe, and as always. Till next time. See if I can't get him out of here. Well, 
just I chased a coral snake into this tree. And I'm guessing he's still inside of here. He's got himself a pretty good hidey hole, so let's see if we can't get him out. <laughs> 